So let's talk about vulnerability scanners and why they're important. I mean, why do we even run a vulnerability scan in the first place? Many times these scans are a part of a cybersecurity assessment and really sets the stage and lets the security professional know exactly what's on the network and what needs to be taken care of from a risk perspective. NIST defines vulnerability scanner as a network tool that scans devices to identify generally known and organization specific CVEs based on a wide range of signature strategies. OWASP is well known for the top 10 web application security risk list and speaks to the role of the security scanner in the process of cybersecurity assessments. Web application vulnerability scanners are automated tools that scan web applications normally from an external resource. The goal is to identify security vulnerabilities such as cross-site scripting, SQL injection, command injection, path traversal, and insecure server configuration. This category of tools is frequently referred to as dynamic application security testing or DAS tools. A large number of both commercial and open source tools of this type are available and all of these tools have their own strengths and weaknesses. Tenable Nessus is used by security analysts, consultants, and penetration testers to perform an unlimited amount of assessments on site and in the cloud. Tenable may be used to automate point in time assessments to identify flaws, missing patches, malware, and misconfigurations on a variety of operating systems and applications. Nessus offers vulnerability scoring systems such as CVSS, EPSS, and Tenable VPR to implement vulnerability prioritization for remediation strategy. You may gather actionable steps with a resource center to guide the security team and associated business units. Nessus is built with in-depth knowledge of how security experts conduct assessments, so features are designed to reduce time and effort. So in the world of information technology, are you familiar with a Raspberry Pi? And no, I'm not talking about the one you eat, the one with the delicious crust. We're talking about the Raspberry Pi that may be used in cybersecurity and once upon a time, working at a Navy installation, we didn't have the resources to properly set up a vulnerability scanner. And the manager at that time had a great idea to use a Raspberry Pi to perform scans, and we were pleasantly surprised. Cybersecurity professionals may deploy Nessus on a variety of operating systems and even a Raspberry Pi. Dynamically compiled plugins increase scan performance and efficiency, so business attains valuable results quickly. Industry leading coverage of vulnerabilities empower security teams to triage and address the risk with the greatest potential impact. With over 400 pre configured templates, finding vulnerabilities is simplified in a centralized resource. While the cybersecurity team may have no problem understanding the technologies on the network and the associated risk, dashboards are key to reporting to senior leadership so they understand the trends and key performance indicators to show improvements in security posture and also a great way to justify additional cybersecurity spending Nessus optimizes reports, which may be exported in different formats to incorporate in the risk remediation planning process. Live results automatically perform offline assessments with each plugin update and view of vulnerabilities based on scan history. An intuitive and user-friendly experience 
encourages cybersecurity experts to review findings and map out next steps with confidence. Nessus groups similar issues and vulnerability categories together in one thread to assist in researching and prioritizing issue remediation. The Qualys Vulnerability Management Detection and Response is another great tool that's preferred by business to perform vulnerability scanning. Empower the business cybersecurity team to measure, communicate, and eliminate risk across the enterprise landscape with immense visibility into the organization's security posture. Automatically discover and categorize known and unknown assets, internal and internet exposed assets, continuously identify managed and unmanaged assets. Create and manage automated workflows to spot all active assets and potential problems. And misconfigurations open the door to cyber breaches and security noncompliance linked to vulnerabilities. Automated scanning on a resource is an essential tool to have as part of the cybersecurity team. Setting the schedule to perform vulnerability scans, typically at a time where it doesn't impact the team or any resource utilization. You can have scans running on nights or weekends to identify the risk on the network and be prepared to plan for a more secure future for the business. Qualys helps business continuously detect critical vulnerabilities and misconfigurations across mobile devices, operating systems, and various applications. Automatically prioritize the highest rated vulnerabilities on critical assets and reduce vulnerabilities to the most concerning findings. Evidence of exploitation and the likelihood of exploitation aids teams in understanding which assets are most at risk. Insight into the company's cyber risk exposure within hardware systems, cloud environments, and IoT assets is always a great help to any cybersecurity professional. The risk remediation strategy should be based on the critical and high rated findings first. These are items that are easily compromised. Kids hanging out in the garage or just sitting at the park on their laptop will have no problem taking advantage of the most well-known vulnerabilities. Business may detect vulnerabilities and reduce mean time to remediation with Qualys. Prioritize vulnerabilities and risk reduction utilizing Qualys True Risk Prioritization. Automate patching to remediate threats without an analyst or engineer interaction. And risk-based vulnerability management with VMDR and cybersecurity asset management efficiently improves remediation plans. Having a wealth of vulnerability information centralized into a single platform makes the job easier and more enjoyable. You're more likely to want to get involved in remediation planning if you know you can look into a single place for scanning, the results, reporting, dashboards, all the great features that the Qualys VMDR has to offer. Over 20 threat intelligence feeds and 80,000 signatures highlight exploits, likelihood, and evidence of exploitation. The Enterprise True Risk Platform delivers a unified view of cyber risk posture to aggregate and measure Qualys and non-Qualys risk factors. Communicating cyber risk with context to the business to eliminate cybersecurity threats included in the attack surface. Vulnerability management is a lucrative career that constantly requires smart and motivated people to protect computer systems, data, and networks. Identifying, assessing, and addressing potential security weaknesses 
organizations can help prevent attacks and minimize damage in the case one does occur. The goal of vulnerability management is to reduce the organization's risk exposure and remediate and mitigate vulnerabilities. Business pays the most attention to critical and high severity rated findings. So we should take some time to look at the latest cybersecurity vulnerability management trends and findings. Over 17,000 new security vulnerabilities were identified and published each year. The average vulnerability had a severity rating of seven out of 10. Nearly half the organizations in the United States report that they have had a data breach in the past two years. Automating vulnerability remediation is effective when implemented correctly, but there's always going to be a need for someone with the experience and knowledge. 60% of breach victims said they were breached due to an unpatched but known vulnerability when the patch was not applied. More than half were unaware that their organization were vulnerable prior to the data breach. 52% of survey respondents say their organization are at a disadvantage in responding to vulnerabilities because they use manual process. The five vendors with the most documented security vulnerabilities in 2020 are Microsoft, Google, Oracle, Apple, and IBM. This creates an excellent opportunity for cybersecurity professionals with the skills to work on and remediate these well-known industry-leading software applications and operating systems. One important factor to consider is that exploits are software programs that are designed to target and take advantage of known vulnerabilities or zero day. Implementing vulnerability management within your organization, you can address and repair the same vulnerabilities targeted by exploits. To protect your business against the latest threats, provide IT security training for all employees, implement traffic filtering and scanning, and keep up with regular patching. There's no way to build a cybersecurity program with a quick meeting or a short informational video. This will take time and planning to be put into place effectively. Threat and vulnerability management includes a variety of solutions to address cyber threats. An effective vulnerability management program demands asset discovery and inventory, vulnerability scanners, patch management, configuration management, security incident and event management, penetration testing, threat intelligence, and the remediation of vulnerabilities. The vulnerability management life cycle details six key phases to reach essential expectations and call it a win. Phase one, discovery to create a full asset inventory across your organization's network. Phase two, prioritization of assets to assign a value to each asset group based on criticality. Phase three, assessment of systems to understand the risk profile of each and what the primary concerns may be. Phase four, reporting to key stakeholders and documentation of the security plan for the known vulnerabilities. Phase five, remediation of identified vulnerabilities starting with the highest risk. Phase six, verification and monitoring to include regular audits to ensure remediated vulnerabilities have been completed. Proper vulnerability management helps companies identify and remediate issues before they become cybersecurity breaches or loss of company resources. Preventing security incidents can also prevent damage to companies' reputation and improve customers' willingness to share their personal information 
when doing business. Vulnerability management improves compliance with security standards and regulations such as ISO 27000, NIST, HIPAA, and GDPR, to name a few. Also, help organizations master overall security risk posture. A reliable and repeatable vulnerability management process highlights three significant advantages. Enhanced asset security and control, consistent visibility and reporting, and operational efficiencies. A vulnerability management program should incorporate four simple and effective steps for managing vulnerabilities and misconfigurations. Step one, identify vulnerabilities with vulnerability scanners that run continuously and automated to identify weaknesses and threats throughout company-owned systems and networks. Step two, evaluate vulnerabilities to rate according to risk level and prioritize remediation actions based on rating severity. Step three, address vulnerabilities. Organizations may apply remediation to completely remove the finding, take mitigation steps to decrease the possibility of damage, or accept the vulnerability as part of doing business. And step four, report vulnerabilities. It is crucial to document and report vulnerabilities to business leadership and track vulnerability trends and also help ensure the organization remains compliant. The best vulnerability management solution will maximize resources, provide visibility, assessment, and remediation consolidated in one location. Most companies can experience substantial gains in vulnerability management by assigning individuals the roles of monitor, resolver, and authorizer. The monitor will assess vulnerabilities for severity and risk, document findings, and alert resolvers to address the problems. Resolvers identify patches or execute mitigation steps when patches may not be applied. Authorizers take a high level view of the vulnerabilities and make strategic changes aligned with the effects of present and future vulnerabilities. 